Hey girl, happy Sunday. Welcome back to another chill with me vanity chat Sunday because we are chilling. We are at my vanity and today I'm going to be doing a full face of makeup. Let me tell y'all, I filmed this video, this exact video, but I was at my, you know, in front of my setup with all of my filming equipment. But I didn't like how the footage came out. So I am gonna be doing, I'm not gonna do the same exact look because honestly, I did not like how the look came out either. <laughs> but I'm gonna be using all of the same products. So just the other week, I'm about to put on some of these. These are like um, milk makeup. These are like little eye patches. I just woke up, it's early in the morning and I feel like my eyes are a little puffy. So that is what I'm about to do. But anyway, um, just the other day I filmed and uploaded a video where I did a um, full face of new products that I pulled out of my beauty closet. And I noticed a lot of you guys liked that video. So I thought it'd be fun to do another one like that, but kind of put like a little twist to it. And instead of doing like a full face of new products that I got out of my beauty closet, um, just do like a full face of random products that I pulled out of my makeup drawers right here. So that's exactly what I did. And after I filmed the video, I was editing the video and I hated how the, like I did not like how, for one, I didn't really care for how the makeup looked. Um, so I was like, eh, not too much in love with this. Like the eye look is what I didn't like. I love the complexion, but I did not like the way the eyes came out. Um, so I was like, I'm not gonna upload something that I'm not, you know, all the way here for. So I went ahead, trashed that, cause I was not like, I was not happy with um, how the look came out. And I said, let me just do it again. But instead, instead of me sitting at my usual setup, like back here with all of my, you know, my lights, my filming equipment, all of that stuff, let me just do it more chill, more laid back. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing today. So I have everything laid out here in front of me on my vanity. Um, and I don't know, I just thought it would be something fun. I mean, since you guys liked the video where I did, you know, the full face of new products coming that's, that came out of my beauty closet. I figured you guys may like this. I don't know. Let me know as soon as we start getting into everything. But I feel like I pulled out a lot of products that I haven't used in so, so, so long. So I cannot wait to um, just put these products on the face. So I do want to moisturize my lips. I'm going to take the Biosance Rose Vegan Lip Balm. And again, I just woke up. I did wash my face, all of that. I just don't have anything on my face right now. So I'm gonna put this on my lips since they are pretty dry. Um, but while we have these on the eyes, while they're sitting on the eyes, I do wanna uh, mention if you guys are new to my channel, on Sundays, I do these chill, laid back, style videos so they're like vlog style videos so with those i'm usually just either sitting here doing my makeup with you guys at my vanity i'm either organizing cleaning um i used to go out and um do some shopping with you like i would take you guys with me shopping but you guys know we can't really go anywhere we have to do this whole social distancing thing and um just stay inside and just be self-quarantined so i thought this would be fun to just sit here pull out a lot of random products and um, just do a full face with you guys. But yeah, that is what we usually do on Sundays. I like these things, you guys. They do help with depuffing the eyes. So if you have puffy eyes in the morning times and you need something that's just gonna help with that, these are pretty good. I usually put these in my little skincare fridge, um, but today they were, they were just sitting here in my vanity because I have been using these pretty much all week. Um, but yes. That is what we're doing. Um, I wanna know what you guys have planned today. What are y'all doing? Are you guys watching movies? What are you doing around the house? Are you cleaning, organizing? Just let me know, let me know. Now I will say, since we're doing, since we're social distancing ourselves, I have noticed a lot of YouTubers doing videos that are kinda, um, I don't know, they're just doing a lot of declutter videos, a lot of just stay at home videos, and I'm like, these are the type of videos that I like to watch. Like, you guys pump these out anyway. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they 
I don't know. I don't see as many challenges going around. Like I'm just, I've never been into those challenge videos or those prank videos. I've just seen so many more just stay at home, chill, skincare routines, um, cleaning, organizing, just a lot of how-to videos, DIY videos, like a lot of videos that I used to watch back in the day. It feels like, it just seems like a lot of people are bringing that back. So I do really appreciate that because that's what I, personally, that's what I like to watch on YouTube and I like to see my feed just full of those types of videos. Um, and I'm also seeing people that haven't uploaded in like over a year, they're coming back to YouTube. So it's nice to see, like, it just feels more, I don't know, it just feels refreshing to see the content that used to be on YouTube come back to YouTube, if you know what I'm saying. And I'm not saying it to where like nobody upload these videos anyway. I'm saying it because I'm seeing it more frequently. So um, even though people like to this day, they have already been doing declutter videos. They have already been doing DIY videos, um, but I'm seeing it more frequently now that um, we are being self quarantined. So and. I'm here for it y'all I am here for it um, let's see you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna have um, a little list of channels down below in my description if you guys are interested in checking out um, different content during this time like if you want to start binge watching um, just different channels and just discover new people um, I'm gonna have a list down below in my description of a couple of channels that I truly enjoy watching and are just good to watch especially like if you're wanting to watch more laid back chill videos with a mixture of makeup but more so just chill vlog style videos or just more lifestyle videos so I will have their channels down below but um, let me go ahead and take this off of my eyes because I am ready to do my face so y'all know the very first step that I like to do before applying anything on the face is um, well besides applying a lip product is to moisturize my skin so the product that I pulled out of my drawer for my moisturizer is the Clinique ID moisturizer this one is the dramatically different gel um, dramatically different oil control gel I cannot say that but um, this one has a cartridge in it and you can customize these to um, your skin type so I got the one that is um, targeting dark spots so um, you can customize these to your liking but I haven't used this in forever so let's use it today and I like using gel moisturizers under pretty much under all the makeup any makeup that I wear but more so in the spring and summertime because they are pretty lightweight they're breathable um, and they're just not too heavy on the skin to where I can't wear makeup on top so I'm just gonna apply that on my face like that now the next step I like to do is to prime my skin and the primer that I picked um, was the this one is the elf cosmetics matte oil control primer I don't think I've used this too many times on my channel I know once I hauled this I did like a haul oh girl it's been a while it's been a while a lot of these products it has been a while since I use so I know I do remember using this right after I did like a, I think I did like a full face of um, drugstore and I use this in that video but I don't remember using this product much ever since, especially on camera. Um, but yeah, this is just a mattifying primer. This reminds me of the Smashbox photo, photo ready primer. You guys know the one that comes in the little white tube. And that was actually my first primer. I think my first product that I've ever tried out from Smashbox. Their little um, photo finish primer. Now one thing I have noticed um, about this primer is, is for one, is very smoothing. Very, very smoothing on your skin. Um, and two, it does not dry out your skin. Some mattifying primers, they can feel really dry on the skin. They can make your skin feel a little tight. But this one feels 
it's almost like I don't know it's like a gel consistency like it feels really smooth kind of like a gel on your skin but it doesn't feel like a dried out type of primer so it does kind of mattify the skin a little bit but not too much but that is how it looks on my face now I'm gonna let this sit for a few minutes on my face because I do want to do my brows I always like to do my brows before I apply my foundation and the brow product that we pulled out is the benefit precisely my brow pencil I feel like this was the like the brow pencil for me back in the day like I would wear this all the time I would talk about it all the time I use the shade number five and they do have new shades now um, one of the shades is 4.5 which I can also use but this was the brow pencil that I would always, 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 always use. I would always repurchase over and over. It was just my favorite, like, high-end brow pencil. But now that I have gotten more into using brow pencils from the drugstore, more affordable ones, I haven't really been using this one much anymore. And I just feel like with brow products, for me, if I find something I like that's affordable, I'm gonna use it the most. I'm gonna repurchase it the most because I go through brow products like crazy since I do do my brows a lot. Another reason why I like this brow pencil is um, because I noticed even after applying moisturizer and primer, some of that product gets in my brows. And sometimes when I apply another, like a different brow pencil, it's kind of hard to like the product is kind of hard to get on the brow because I have um, like my brows are kind of slippery from my moisturizer or my primer. But with the Benefit Brow Pencil, you can easily like it's still easy to apply the product, even though you do have, like even though the brows feel a little slippery from the other product that I applied on my face, it's still so easy to apply the pencil. All right, next up is the foundation. And I was looking at my drawer and I was deciding on whether or not I wanted a full coverage or something that is medium or just really light coverage. And I noticed I have yet, have I? I don't know. But I haven't used the Buildable Blur um, CC Cream. This is by Thrive Cosmetics. I know I haven't used this in a while on my channel. And I feel like this was, one of my most used products last year like during the spring and summertime but i don't feel like i've used it a lot on camera and y'all can see here i have used and abused this tube of product i have the shade number well the shade is called rich but this is what i would use the most during the spring and summer because it is such a lightweight product it's just a really light coverage nothing too heavy very uh, breathable and it does have SPF 35 in it so it's a good product to use during the hotter months even though I'm not going anywhere <laughs> but just so y'all can see how it looks on my skin right here how it looks blended out so y'all can see here it's such a light coverage you can kind of see my skin like I can kind of see some darkness right in here peeking through but if you're not like if you're wanting something really light just a little bit of coverage this is nice and they have a good 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 color selection in these and y'all know it's kind of hard to find a good CC cream or a BB cream for deeper complexion so try Thrive Cosmetics if you're wanting um, a CC cream for the uh, spring and summertime this year but let's do some concealer so I pulled out my LA girl pro concealer I use the shade fine I haven't used this in a long time on my channel I use this maybe once or twice recently because this is a new purchase but um, in the past when I first started my channel this was I think one of my first concealers I ever used this was back when I would never set my makeup I would I would never um, set my concealer I would never set my foundation and I think this one and the um, I think it was a Maybelline fit me concealer those were my first few concealers that I was using on my channel 
and this was a few years back almost what four or five years ago I'm just gonna apply this everywhere that I apply my concealer like that I have a mirror right here in front of me I don't know why I'm not using it I'm just so used to looking at the mirror like looking at my vanity mirror but I have one right here under the camera and I'm gonna blend it out with my sponge I feel like my lighting is going in and out, in and out, in and out, but as long as you guys can at least see what I'm doing, <laughs> that is all that matters. As long as you can see what I'm doing, that is all. All right, now we can set it. So let's set the concealer and I'm gonna pull out a loose setting powder for this. The one that I'm pulling out today is the Huda Beauty setting powder. I know the first couple of times I used this, I was in love with it. I used the shade Kanufa. Yeah, Kanufa. But yeah, the first few times I used it, I was in love with it. And honestly, I don't know why I stopped using it. Well, I do know why because y'all know products come out and I want to try them out and of course review them for you guys. So I just kind of get lost in what's new, you know? So I just be setting stuff to the side, trying out different stuff. But this is a really, really, really nice setting powder is not drying but it does um, keep everything in place it just looks so nice and seamless on the skin and it has a scent to it too so if you are not into products that have scents you probably won't like this but I like the scent it smells good to me I always like to get my lids I still get people asking um, I still have people asking me do I use eyeshadow primer um, which I don't the I just use the concealer that I applied under my eyes I kind of just drag it up on on my lids and then I kind of set my lid with the setting powder and that's what I use for my primer <laughs> I feel like it just works just as good as an eyeshadow primer I, I have used primer so so I do know if there's a difference or not and I feel like with me there's not really a difference so that's why I always just use my um, concealer and then set the lids with some setting powder all right now I'm gonna do the rest of my face I'm gonna set the rest of my face with a pressed powder this one I decided to pull out the NARS um, what is this called the NARS light reflecting setting powder in the shade sunstone and I do remember using this when well I showed it in a Sephora haul it was like a Sephora VIB sale haul and I also used it in a video where I did like a full face of what I hauled from Sephora but I feel like I haven't used this much on my channel I've noticed a couple of you guys asking me if I still use it like if if I still have it which I do so that is what we're doing today I'm pretty much just setting um everywhere around the perimeter of my face where i didn't apply that loose powder and also just kind of blending everything in so it can look more seamless and this is a really light powder so it's not going to really give you coverage coverage but it does just um sets your makeup okay i'm gonna run this pencil in my brows one more oh well, the little spoolie I'm just gonna run it in my brows to um, right here, just the center part of my brows to fade about, just to fade it out a little bit. Now moving on to the bronzers. So I pulled out the, um, where is it? Where is it? There it is. The Prime Beauty Bronzer in the shade Bronzers. And I haven't really shared this one a lot on my channel either. So all, pretty much all the products that I'm using, I haven't really shared much on my channel recently. So, um, but yeah, this is what Bronzers looks like. It's just a really pretty deep, rich color. And it is pretty warm. Um, so it does kind of pull a little, um, a little red on me. So yeah, I'm gonna find a brush. Um, but yeah, if you haven't tried out any of their bronzers, they have, I think, three in total, but they're definitely catered for deeper complexions. This one is the second one. They have a darker one like this, which is really, really deep. I'm gonna apply it on my face. Yeah, it's so pretty. 
gives me such a pretty golden bronzy glow on the skin do y'all see that difference if my light would not go in and out but all right there we go do y'all see how pretty and golden like it's such a pretty bronzer very rich you do not need to use a lot of it because it does like it's very 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 pigmented i am gonna take the kk now this isn't like a random product that i pulled out of my drawers i just have it sitting on my vanity anyway this is the kkw beauty bronzer palette and i'm gonna pull the color right here this is like the contour shade but i just go down the side of it like this to kind of sculpt it out just a little bit and i do blend it out but right now i know it kind of looks a little harsh but i am gonna blend it out in a little bit i'm just gonna just place some right here, kind of go into the brow. This just kind of gives you that contoured look. The next step, I still want to go ahead and put on a little bit of powder on the sides of my nose because we are about to do the eyes. And y'all know I always like to have powder just sitting on the sides of my nose while I do my eyeshadow. So I'm going to take a little bit more of the Huda Beauty powder and just let it sit there on the side. This also kind of catches, like if the eyeshadow is, like if there's a lot of fallout, it kind of catches it too. So I just let it bake on the side of my nose like this. Now the eyeshadow palette that I pulled out, I was having a hard time with this because I honestly did not know which one I wanted to pull out. And I ended up pulling out this one from ColourPop. This is the um, Whatever palette. And like I said earlier, the video that I filmed already, I had already used the palette. So that was my first time using this palette. Um, but I, I already know how the shadows, like I'm very familiar with their shadows, but it was my first time actually using this particular palette and I just wasn't too happy with how the look came out. And I think the reason why I didn't like the look is because I went too heavy with Tardy, this color right here in the palette. I went too heavy with it on the inner corner and it just looked, I don't know, I just didn't like how it came out. I should have just skipped this part and just went with whatever eye look that I had. But I'm gonna keep it simple today. Very simple because I have noticed a lot of you guys that watch my tutorials, you really love like those easy, simple looks. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let me find a brush. Um, let me find my little thing. Where did it go? There it is. This little cleaning thing just to make sure that my brush is clean enough I just like to swirl it on here this is my Morphe M504 but the look that I'm going for today I don't even know I don't even know what I want to do but I do know um, I started out with pass it on in that tutorial and I put this in the crease but I think today I'm just gonna I don't know let me just at least put this in the crease I think I used a total of like four shades last time. But I'm just gonna put this in my crease. Today I think I'm just gonna use two shades. I will say though, I love ColourPop eyeshadows. Like they're single like their shadows like this. I like these so much better than their super shock shadows. Um, even though those are good too, but I like these so much better, especially their mattes. Their matte shadows are so, so good. They blend out so easily. And I just like how there's not fallout. Like there's no fallout in this palette at all. I'm just swirling my brush around in this one shade and there's no fallout whatsoever. But um, I think when it comes down to the Super Shock shadows, I like those over these only if they're the, um, like the foil, like the metallic glittery ones. I like that type of shadow in the Super Shock formula, if that makes sense. But I did notice when I started using this palette in the other in the video that I filmed, I noticed the color right here feels just like it's like it has that cushiony, soft texture, just like their Super Shock shadows. 
I haven't dipped into anything else. Like, I don't know if the other metallics in here are like that, but this one is definitely, definitely like that. So I got that color in the crease and it looks pretty good. Um, I'm gonna go into, in um, what it's called, in bold. And this is a brown color right here. And I'm gonna stick with the same brush because I just, I'm just gonna stick with the same brush. And we're just gonna put this, we're gonna tap this all over the lid. Just like this. Then I'm just gonna go in the crease and kind of blend both of those shades together. So they can kind of blend into each other. Mmm, I like this. And just for the heck of it, I'm gonna go into Miss Brightside. This is the darkest shade in the palette. It's like a, um, a really dark berry, sticking with the same brush. And I'm just gonna put her right here on the outer part of my lid, of my, um, yeah, the outer part of my lid, just right there, just to kind of darken it up, just like that. And just blending it into the crease a little bit like that yes I like this okay I'm gonna go ahead and the eyeliners that I pulled out okay I pulled out some random things <laughs> I pulled out the um, Urban Decay I got two of them the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencils. I got the shade Deep In, and I also got the shade Psychedelic Sister. And I didn't know where I was going with this. I just randomly pulled these out. Now that I've already done my eyes, I don't even know what color would, probably the purple. Psychedelic, yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll do this on the um, waterline. And while I was in this drawer, this is what I call my random drawer. I um, pulled out a mascara. The mascara that I pulled out was the Essence Volume Stylist Mascara. And this does have lengthening fibers in it. So I'm gonna use this as my mascara. And then of course my um, lashes, I don't have them in front of me, but I think I showed you guys a clip of me pulling them out. But the lashes I'm using are my Ardell Remy Lashes in the Stylist 778. So yeah, let's try this on the waterline. I think it'll be okay with this eye look. I think so. I don't know. Let's put it on the waterline and see. It's just a purple color. My eyes water. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, so I got it on my waterline. Can y'all? Y'all probably can't even see it, but it's purple. It's purple. So, um, mascara. Actually, let me. I'm gonna take this little. Um, pencil, little tiny pencil shader brush. Let me see if I got another one over here. Dang it, I don't. Let me try to wipe off most of the product. Girl, I need to wash these brushes ASAP. Let me wipe off whatever's on here. And I'm gonna go back into the palette um, and pick up Miss Brightside. That's that dark shade that we used, the last shade. And I think I'm gonna put this down here just to kind of smoke out my bottom lash line a little bit. I need to put a little bit more of that purple right here. I'm gonna show y'all this look in front of my window so y'all can see it in natural daylight, but this is all I'm gonna do for the eyes. I do wanna go ahead and apply that mascara. Where did it go? There it is the Essence Volume Stylus Mascara. I'm gonna put this on my bottom lashes and I always like to put on the uh, the fake, dang, this doesn't have a mirror. I like to put on the fake, my false lashes first and then go over that, well not over it, but just kinda put on my mascara after I put my lashes on. But first I'm gonna go in with the bottom lashes with this mascara. I probably should have put the glue on my lashes while I was doing my bottom lashes. I'm gonna put the glue on right now. This is my duo glue. And I just put this on my lashes. Let me check my phone while that sits. I need to go through and catch up with the comments on my last video. All right, this one 
Alright, you ready? Okay, that was easy to apply that one. Okay, lashes are on. This is where I take the mascara again and this is just pretty much where I just um, coat my real lashes under the lashes. I'm gonna take this little brush and just wipe off that setting powder on my nose. And then kind of get the side of my jawline to kind of clean up that bronzer to make it look more, you know, like that. I'm gonna take the powder brush that I used and go over it so it won't look too ashy. Now going back into the palette, I'm gonna pick up a lighter shade. So let's take, uh, let's take Pink Slip. This is a matte color. And I'm just gonna place this right here just to kind of brighten up Instead of using a glitter like I did in the first look, well, y'all didn't see it, but instead of using glitter right here, I'm just going to keep stick with a matte color. And this is just going to brighten up the inner part of my eye. Yeah, that looks 10 times better. Yes. Ooh, I love y'all. I love this look all right now let's do some blush the blush that i pulled out is this one by bare minerals it's the gin nude blush in the shape of first coffee now i don't really have a lot of products from bare minerals i know i have the blush i have an eyeshadow palette which i like it's their um gin nude eyeshadow palette i have a gin nude lip gloss and i also tried their liquid foundation a few years ago but i haven't really tried out a lot of their other products but i will say they do have some good blushes so i'm just gonna pop a little bit of this on my cheeks and highlighter i wanted to pull out one that i know for a fact i have not used in a long time and that is the black up by jenny jenkins highlighter this is the palette number two um, so Jenny is also a YouTuber, so she did a collab with Black Up, and this is how the highlighter palette looks. I'm going to go with the shade right here. This is a more golden color right there. Just highlight, highlight, highlight. All right, girls, so the last step is the lips, and I pulled out quite a few random products. I didn't know where, like, I didn't know what this look was gonna, like, I didn't know. I did not know what look I was gonna do, so I just randomly pulled out some lip products. The first one I grabbed was this Clinique lipstick in the shade Tool, and this is like a pink color. I did not know it was this pink until I swatched it, um, well, in the video that I was filming, but I'm gonna swatch it right here for you guys. It's all right, it doesn't show up that that pink because of the lighting of my vanity lights is making it look so much brighter, but it is pretty pink and I don't know, it might look good with this look. The first look I did, I feel like it was too pink. Another one I pulled out was the Too Faced lipstick in the shade Nip Slip. And this is a like a um a beige nude like a true nude lipstick right there. And as far as lip pencils, I pulled out a couple of lip pencils. I grabbed my KKW lip pencil in the shade nude number three. And then I grabbed the Morphe lip pencil in the shade Bite Me. So um, KKW is a really dark chocolate brown. And then Bite Me, well Morphe, in the shade Bite Me is more of a cocoa brown. Like it's not as deep. And I think, I don't know. 
and I grabbed a lip gloss because I didn't know what type of lip I wanted to go for. So the gloss that I grabbed was the Hourglass Gloss in the shade um, Strike. And I will swatch her as well. And that's what Strike looks like. Ooh, I think I wanna use the gloss today. I think I wanna use the gloss. Yeah, let's use the gloss. I haven't really used this one much but I do want to line my lips a little bit with the um the Morphe lip liner and then let's apply a little bit of the gloss right here oh yeah that is and these are kind of minty it has that minty scent mm. I like it pretty 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 yes oh and I forgot before we end the tutorial I wanted to pull out a spray so the ColourPop all-star face setting spray y'all know this has not been on my channel since I think when it first came out because I did like a full first impression um, review on the all-star collection so I'm just gonna use this as my spray today and I don't like the mister on it. It does kind of get stuck. See, it's just getting stuck. I have to keep pulling it up. I'm gonna take my sponge and kind of tap it in a little bit so that there's no big drops of spray on my face. But this is it. This is it, girl. I'm gonna take you guys over here in front of my window so y'all can see the final look. And yeah, so let's go. All right, y'all, this is how it all looks standing in front of my mirror. Um, I didn't do anything with my hair. I just brushed it down. I still have yet to style it. Um, and every time I wash my hair and then um, get it dry, I usually just curl it and then just throw it back up into the bun so that way the hair can be, um, you know, it can kind of have that natural curl to it, that wave type of texture to it but I still have yet to do that since I haven't really gone anywhere can't really go anywhere <laughs> but I still think it looks pretty nice I mean it does look a little frizzy but it still has its body I just always keep it up in a tight bun when I go to sleep or just when I'm you know around the house so that way my hair can always look like this once I brush it down because I hate when my hair looks flat there's no body to it so for me to keep it to where it looks like it has body I keep it up in a tight bun so I hope that answers some of you guys questions because I still get questions on how I keep my hair looking fluffy or just how it just looks like it has a lot of body to it is because I always keep it up in a tight bun at the top of my head and if you guys ever want to know um, all the other hair deets I do have it I keep it down below in my description but yes girl this is how the face is looking let me turn the brightness down some because it does kind of look a little bright but yes girl that is all that I have for today um, I should just film a video since my whole face is done like film a content video I don't know. I don't even know what to film. <laughs> but I don't know. I might do it later on. I might not. Don't know yet. But I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me and just seeing me do my makeup at my vanity. I want to know if I ended up pulling out products that you guys own. If you like the products. If you don't like the products. Let me know. Also let me know if you guys want me to do another video like this. I had a lot of fun doing this you guys. Just going in my closet. Pulling out new products. As well as going in my drawers behind me. Pulling out random products. Let me know if you guys want me to do another video like this. And I will be more than happy to do it. So that's all that I have you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to know what you guys are doing today on this sunny Sunday. What are you doing in the house? What are you completing? Like if you have any projects you need to complete, I want to know. Also, anything that you're watching on Netflix, on Hulu, let me know. Let's talk about it down below in the comments. And that is all that I have. So I will see you guys later on this week. Make sure you have your notifications on because I do have more videos coming up. But yeah, girl, that is it. I know the lighting is going in and out, but that is it. Thank you again for hanging out with me, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.